what's happening night riders i know i'm sorry you can put the pitchforks down i'm sorry i am super late with episode eight of ruby chibi i know i'm sorry <laughs> um i've just had a lot of things that i had to take care of uh, i've been kind of busy uh, i'm sorry but i'm here now episode eight of ruby chibi i uh, i've been waiting been waiting been waiting to check this out finally got the opportunity to do it um I know episode 9 is out, uh, that will be coming to you probably the next time I'm able to make some videos, um, which is going to be soon, I'm not, I promise I'm not going to have you guys wait an entire week for it, it's going to be very very soon, but without any further ado, let's check out Ruby Chippy episode 8, let's go. Oh, that's really low, let's turn that up. <laughs> Is that supposed to be like a jar of pickles? <laughs> Yo, sometimes it'd be like that, opening up jars. Like, it, it gets to the point where you just want to just smash the jar just to get what's in there. Everybody's so fucking adorable. <laughs> she getting her Rocky on. Like all I can, all I hear is I the tiger in my head right now. Yo, I swear it's always like that. When you in the gym or you trying to be on a diet or something, it's always that one person around you that have like sweets and cakes. <laughs> sweets, cakes, cookies. Kira! <laughs> I'm sorry! We're going on a hike. We're going on a hike. Oh, man. Hooray, we're going on a hike. Gotta love Nora. It's been hours and we haven't made it out of Beacon. You don't look at me. This stupid compass must be broken. It's leading us in circles. See, now it's telling me North is back that way. <laughs> That is hilarious. Ren found this old stack of VHS tapes. You want to help us sort through them and see what's on them? Um. That's a no. <laughs> Come on, let's head down to the courtyard. Oh, man. That was so funny. <laughs> Super secret vault. <laughs> Uh huh. Are we about to see Ozpin? Yo, this guy be everywhere. Even in the original Ruby. Uh, even in the original Ruby series, he be everywhere. <laughs> Yo, I swear, I thought we were about to see Ozpin. Oh man, my jaw was about to hit the floor. Um. Yo, that whole compass thing had to have been the funniest part of this episode to me. That shit was hilarious. Oh man, you gotta love Ruby Chibi. It's so breathtaking. Not breathtaking, but it's so relaxing. Um, my writers, post your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about episode 8 of Ruby Chibi. Let me know what part of this episode you thought was the funniest to you. Again, like I said, the funniest to me was the whole compass thing following Pera. That completely caught me off guard. I don't know why. I feel like I should have seen it coming, but I didn't see it coming. That's why it, made, it was so funny to me. 
Um, and yeah, them hitting that secret, that, that secret sub-level button thingy, that, yo, because it, it looked like, it almost looked like I, like where Ozpin be chilling at, or at least like that lower level where the Fall Maiden was kept. Yo, I swear, I thought we was about to see Ozpin. My jaw was about to hit the floor. But that old guy, <laughs> yo, even in the original Ruby series, like I said earlier, he's everywhere. He owns, like, almost every store. <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious, though. But anyway, again, now write a special comments down below. Let me know what you thought about episode 8 of Ruby Chibi. Fucking love Ruby Chibi. Can't wait to see episode 9. Um, hopefully, I can get episode 9 out by Monday, if not Monday, by Tuesday, um, yeah, I'm gonna try my best to do that, again, y'all, I'm so sorry for having you guys wait, um, I, I see that a lot of you guys are letting me know when volume four of Ruby is released, I do know, as of now, October 22nd, I am so ready for this, so ready for this, all right, y'all, let's just, <laughs> uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did I put it that way and until next time y'all we're on our way to 50k ride or die night riders we out <laughs>